Hi, I'm Ashley and welcome back to the Physics Paragons. Today's video is a brief breakdown of quark gluon plasma. Many scientists believed asymptotically free quarks and gluons were bound together weakly after the Big Bang. As you may know, gluons are a strong force carrier and glue quarks together. However, quark gluon plasma is when quarks and gluons are bound together weakly with the ability to move freely in high energy reactions, extremely high temperature, and high density. Let's dive way back to the beginning of time when Quark Epoch took place. Quark Epoch was a period after the Big Bang when our universe was occupied by a state of matter only existing in high temperature and density. Due to the hot temperature, the collisions between particles had too much energy to allow quarks to combine into mesons and baryons. It was only a few milliseconds after the Big Bang when immense energy started to cool down for the allowance of symmetry breaking. Particles still remained at a hot temperature, and separation between strong force and weak force took place as well as the imbalance between baryons and antibaryons. Under extremely high energy densities, elementary particles, which make up hadrons of baryonic matter, are unconfined with the ability to move freely. These elementary particles are quarks and gluons, the components which make up baryonic matter. Quark-gluon plasma is relevant in many studies today to better understand thermal quantum field theory, a study of particle physics under the conditions of high temperature, and the grand unified theory, a model which studies electromagnetic, strong, and weak interactions between subatomic particles at high energy. If you'd like to know more about the fundamental particles, check out our other videos on our channel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned with the Physics Paragons.